Hey guys, good morning. This is Simon with Trade and Perform Coaching um, and Symbia AI. Uh, wanted to uh, go through a new algo that I am releasing today. Finally, the DLL is done and prepared to be distributed. Uh, before we start, important disclaimer and reminder for all traders and investors, this webinar is for educational purposes only. Not a recommendation to buy or sell any particular financial instrument, equities, futures, options, and currency trading have large potential rewards, but also large potential risks. You must be aware of the risks and be willing to accept them in order to invest in the futures and options markets. Absolutely do not trade with money you can't afford to lose. The website is neither solicitation nor an offer to buy or sell equities, futures, or options. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profits or losses similar to those discussed in this channel. Past performance of any trading system methodology is not necessarily indicative of future results. Absolutely consult your registered financial advisor and your risk trading plan before ever investing or trading any financial instrument. Okay, so let's get this cleaned up so you can see it easily, really quick. Um, just gonna block out the, so we have a clean chart. And okay, so on this particular chart, the no supply, no demand bars. So this is meant for the members in the room, although I'm gonna publish this across the board. Um, the no supply, no demand bars are um, um, highlighted in a background instead of the color inside. If y'all want to change that, guys, I'll cover that in the room for your different options, but there's not a lot of clean options that still let me see these bars. So that's how I know if there's enough supply, no demand. So the first trade on this, I'm going to do this. I want to do this exactly the way it looked on Friday. So we'll flip to a three-day. Okay. So this is what it looked Friday morning. And so the first thing you're going to notice is in general, right, in general, let me erase the lines. When you get an arrow uh, where the bar is touching the outside of the channel, that's the requirement. This is the first step, right? The bar is touching the outside of the channel. It tends to be very responsive. Now, that's not the trade, but if you look, there's your first stop. When, if you generally went through and said, hey, it's got to be on the outside. And the second requirement is it be the high bar in the rotation, right? You would see, so when, stop, when, technically stop. Is that New York launch? I don't trade that. Um, scale, stop, when. And then that's Asia, right? Uh, and excuse me, that wasn't Friday. I apologize. Let me go back here. Let's go through and do Friday really quick. So this isn't the trade. This is the prep to learning the trade that I want y'all to take. Okay, so the bell rings. 8.30, ding, ding, ding. Long. This is not a long because it's not the bottom bar in the rotation for the turn. Technically short. Short, best you did is a scale there. Short, you got paid there. Um, maybe scaled, maybe stopped. Short, no trades, they've got to touch the fourth channel, okay? Long, probably got scaled, that's the best you could do. This got slammed, stopped, paid, stopped, scaled. Took a long time there. That's when we got pretty wild Friday in the late afternoon. Um, stopped, paid, stopped, paid. You can clearly see, by the way, when they're all the way outside the fourth channel, that's like the best. Okay, so. I'm just going through here and highlighting um, on this version, there's still more algos to put on here, but this was the one that this particular bar tells you that there's a lot of force going in the direction that you want to trade. Okay, so now we're going to go back and do the same day, but we're going to add a requirement. And that requirement um, is going to be that it, the bar traps, and I'm going to show you this. Now, you get very few trades on this but you have a very high win rate. So let me explain. So 
You, so the first requirement is the trap, and then we'll add to it. I'm trying not to do it too quickly, right? So here, we'll do trap one, right? Blue arrow up, stops out, closes back in. Trap two, arrow down, gets stopped out, trap back in. Trap three, I want to make this big so you can see it. Stopped out, trap back in, your entry's here. The best scale you could have gotten was there. You obviously would like this to happen outside the channel. Stop on the trap right here. No trap here. And no trap over here. Up here you get the scale, not much more. Trap, and you get the push. Okay, so I think y'all got the idea there. The traps off those blue arrows up and pink arrows down are very, very good. Here's another one right here at half an hour to the close and gave you a beautiful rotation. So trade one. Apex treat as an apex trap. You stop out the blue arrow, trap back in, and that's your push, right? Obviously, we'll add to these pieces as we move along. Next, as you come back, and again, I'm going to use Friday as the example. I'm going to go back to 8.30. So here's 8.30 in the morning. Again, the same requirement. It has to be at or very near the fourth channel. Everyone who uh, looks at this will make their own adjustments in terms of what they feel is stronger or not stronger, right? So the next trade that is logical, and I'm going to point out all of these, but obviously the fourth channel. So the no supply, no demand bars, right? So if you look at the purple bar, right? So I'm looking for the arrow that's at the fourth channel for the long and at the fourth channel for the short, immediately preceded by a no supply, no demand bar, okay? So it's one, has to touch the fourth channel, right? Nope. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, okay, uh, and then technically nine. I don't know. You always trading five minutes to the close. Okay, so what do we learn from this? If there's a no no supply, no demand bar immediately preceding that blue arrow or pink arrow, you have very good chance. There are some stops. All all processes have stops, right? There's a very good chance you will get to scale and a very nicely profitable trade, right? So, am I looking for that trade? Heck yeah, now, here's a place I would have adapted, right? See this right here where I get the... So now I'm going to go to the third stage of this. And obviously, Apex traps back into those setups are very strong as well. Uh, so next, um, and again, this is the first time I'm going to release this. So if you go back through and you look, now we're going to erase the lines. We'll just count the wins and losses. Uh, everyone will have this on their desktop today so they can go back and look for themselves. So if you go back and look, you will see that there's an algo on the bar and it's at the fourth channel or near the fourth channel. With the blue arrow, you're, you're good to go. So one, two, algo on the bar plus the arrow. Three, I don't go long up here. Four. I probably would have taken this, but it didn't touch, technically. That probably is going to get stopped because I'm going to try and push that. 
stop. Give me just one second, guys. Long. Stop. You have to be able to tell that you just dropped like 200 points there, by the way. Um, stop. This is in the last hour again. We were pretty wild. Long. But the point is the controlled entry exit stop, right? Your stop's always at the bottom of that bar. Not outside the fourth channel. Short. Obviously, apex trap back into that would be very good. And then who's trading at the close, right? And just to give you a random look again, if you go through and do that, like, say we did the same trades on Thursday, right? Same, same idea. Either it immediately follows a no supply, no demand bar, or has an algo on it. Opening bell rings, algo, arrow, go, right? Algo, arrow, go, algo, arrow, go. I'll go arrow, no supply, no demand, go. Stop, I would have taken that. Trap back in, so that's your long at 909, we caught that. Um, you scaled, that was tough, right? That was the top bar, just, you, you maybe got 10 points on that, it was tra much trend up. No supply, no demand, purple bar, I'll go short. No supply, no demand, fourth channel, stop. It's New York lunch, I would have traded that. Um, short, again, trap back in. You would have had, you're getting 10 points on that max. That's the end of the day on trend up. Um, and I think it will be able to go through and, and see that. We will add the rest of the algos. It's been a very, sh sh this is a great algo. It's been very strenuous to get it programmed. Really happy that we have it at this point. Uh, and the members will figure out how to use it very, very quickly. You've obviously been using it in the room, and now you'll have it for yourself. So this will be distributed today. You all should all have it, hopefully by 2 p.m., and uh, we will go from there. Appreciate it. I will talk to you guys later. Have a uh, wonderful day. See you guys. Bye. Oh, just to summarize, no supply, no demand, followed by arrow at the fourth channel, right? Um arrow with with algo on it good to go right and um apex traps or traps back into the arrows if they get stopped up three trades pretty basic all centering around not a billion trades like you'll see when you look when you pull that in pretty closely there's just not a billion trades on that they're nicely spaced out in time the cool thing is when we face rip like this you're not getting any short signals in this and that gives you time to do the rest of the analysis on the market are we going higher are we going lower etc 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 there's obviously momentum trades in here i haven't covered there'll be a lot more trades that'll be an entered to this but this is the basic version and it's very very good so uh, i hope you guys have a great day i will uh, get this out to everyone starting at two o'clock